Hi everyone, Varun here and I'm back on the IGTV. Today I'm going to be discussing how to adjust your training and your nutrition during the month of Ramadan. All right. So just quickly, Ramadan is a spiritual time for Muslims and what we usually do is engage in fasting where we restrict food and drinking from before dawn until after sunset. And this does fall under the umbrella of intermittent fasting to an extent with a smaller eating window. Now on the point of training, it is important to note that you could afford to drop your training volume really low during this time and still maintain what you have had built up. Um, there are studies to show that even one ninth of your training volume was enough to maintain it and even after periods of like two weeks of non-training you still wouldn't lose any adaptation all right so dropping your volume low as well could also be beneficial because there is a case for like volume cycling periods of lower volume could help you resensitize help drop some of that fatigue you've been building up over the you know months of previous hard training so you know you could be confident to know that you could train not as hard and you know still be able to maintain until the month is over where you can pick back up again all right in terms of when you should train maybe due to your convenience or preference um, but if you have to train during the day while you're fasting be mindful of hydration issues um, there was a study that compared training on a fasted versus a fed state in bodybuilders during Ramadan and there was no changes in like body mass or body composition so it's not gonna have like a big difference um, but just be mindful of the type of person that you are and what you can handle all right but it may be best to train right after you know you break your fast where you may have some nutrients in your body all right um, what would be good is that when you break your fast you could have maybe for your iftar meal, maybe some fast digesting protein and a fruit um, and then you can get the training so it would have something to fuel training and put back some amino acids into your blood and then you can have a bigger meal, all right? Um, you may want to prioritize hydration and you would want to prioritize some nutrient and foods as well. You also may want to consider having a maybe a casein protein or some slow digesting protein before your tire fast so that it may help stretch out a, a couple extra hours throughout the day where you have something in your system and maybe during this month you may want to consider maybe going for a calorie deficit or some maintenance calories because maybe trying to gain weight during this period may not be the best due to the logistics and the shorter eating window all right so thanks for watching guys. In conclusion, you can afford to train less, to try to prioritize protein, you know, in as much meals as you can when you can eat, prioritize your hydration, catch up on rest. And if you do lose any kind of gains or muscle or training adaptations, it's gonna come back really quickly as soon as you can start pushing again when the month is over, right? So I do hope that it was helpful. Hope you have a great Ramadan for the month to come. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me anytime, all right? Bye.